Hello everyone, welcome to ALB, the place to trade and I'm here with uh, the day's review for Friday the 13th of February 2020. Uh, so, if you thought uh, uh, Monday was bad, Thursday was even more brutal. With Europe's main stock gauge falling the most on record, European markets more broadly going into meltdown and US equities crushed too. The European Central Bank's response disappointed the investors and so did the Fed's uh, bond buying move. Uh, it all puts the focus sharply uh, back on the fiscal measures uh, that government intended to take to deal with uh, the economic fallout of, for the virus because it would uh, appear central bank's influence is now fading so all eyes will be back on the governments and uh, the Fed uh, for sure. Uh, in Europe, uh, they're closing schools and restricting entries and exit points. Uh, Europe's response is ramping up, up after it was blindsided by the US travel ban. The UK's government is now focused on delaying the worst of the outbreak and conceding that many more will be infected. Uh, though uh, the question still remains whether uh, UK economy is strong enough to withstand uh, the hit uh, uh, by caused by coronavirus uh, because uh, you have to keep in mind UK still has to deal with the Brexit issue so uh, they have to be really careful like how uh, they are gonna uh, lay out their plan uh, to protect uh, uh, the economic and also uh, the also uh, the people of uh, United Kingdom. Normal day-to-day -day life in Italy has effectively ended uh, for the time being. France is closing school. Spain's deputy premier has been quarantined and the country is banning short selling on some stocks on Friday. Plus Eastern European countries are restricting entry and closing sites as I said before. Uh, in, in, in the US uh, um, New York uh, is, is, uh, has declared uh, it as a state of emergency. President Donald Trump said he won't uh, uh, back the deal put forward by the Democrats and the Senate uh, that has cancelled the recess plan for next week. Uh, there, uh, there are said to have been fierce battle in the Oval Office over Trump's address on the virus earlier this week. And the president said he doesn't need to be tested for coronavirus despite having made the met uh, an aid uh, to brazil's president who later tasted positive uh, so i think uh, mr trump is being a bit uh, uh, stringent i think uh, it's better he gets tested uh, uh, which would be good for him and also for the people working with him and uh, just imagine if what will uh, happen if uh, there is a news flash that Trump uh, is tested positive uh, with coronavirus, uh, the market will be going crazy for sure. Then, uh, so I think uh, he should do it. So uh, the market uh, uh, carnage was near universal. Equities first. Uh, traders described a total capitulation and uh, black swans abound. Beer market signal an 80% chance of recession, trillion dollar valuations are under threat and Canadian stocks flirt with the worst drop since the 1940s. Uh, big corporates are maxing out credit lines, Brazilian assets got slammed and there are fears global new invest in investments will grind to a halt. Plus the palladium uh, got crushed and entered a bear market, investors are even selling gold uh, to meet their liquidity needs and not to be left out. Uh, so uh, that is uh, the reason why we saw quite an uh, uh, aggressive sell-off yesterday after the US Open on, on, on uh, the safe havens uh, like gold dropped uh, quite a lot. Even there was uh, uh, yen uh, was uh, weaker compared to the earlier two days. So uh, we have to uh, see when this madness really ends uh, after all. Uh, so in the morning, stocks in Asia plunged after yesterday's havoc, but Europe and US stock futures declined, have eased. Though anyone who has been covering markets in recent day would advise against relaxing. Always, uh, sorry, all oil prices uh, are also having a, s a slightly better start to the day. Though uh, remain on track for the worst weekly decline since 2008. Earnings are very thin on the ground and the data state is relatively bare with German, French and Spanish inflation coming. So uh, not much of uh, 
data that would be coming out so most uh, of the day will be uh, centered around uh, any kind of developments from the major governments and the fiscal policies i guess so that will be it thank you very much for joining me at lb i wish you guys all the best for the rest of trading day please be safe and uh, be healthy uh, have a nice weekend guys bye bye take care